service can be traced back to gather, gathering the awesome known as Freedom's Eve. On that night, black slaves and free flags came together in churches and private homes all across the nation awaiting news that the Emancipation Proclamation actually had became law. At the stroke of midnight, in January 1st, 1863, all slaves in the Confederate States were declared legally free. When the, when the news was received, there were prayers, shouts, and songs of joy, and many fell to their knees and thanked God. Blacks have gathered the churches annually on New Year's Eve ever since, praising God for bringing us safely through another year. It's been over a century since the first Freedom's Eve, and tradition still brings us together at this time of year to celebrate how we get over. This celebration takes many African American descendants of slaves into a new year with praise and worship. The service usually brings anywhere from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. and ends at midnight with the entrance of New Year New Year's. Some people come to church first before going out to, to celebrate. For others, church is the only New Year's Eve event. Amen. Amen. 